Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Miles Edgeworth. Last time we left off, we investigated Knightley's cell, and we came up upon some pieces of evidence, or clues, where apparently something happened in his cell, according to the security camera footage, and it seems like something was wiped away in front of the bed. And now we, we try talking to see what else happened. Apparently, Knightley struck a guard, he tried to escape, but he can't find a cell key. And now we're going to hear the best testimony on reasons for arresting Simon Keyes. So, you want to know why my reasons for arresting that, my man, that man? The answer is simple. Yes, we found traces of that guy over there. How's that? Perfectly simple, perfectly decisive, right? Of course, I was the first to notice it because I'm the best. How am I supposed to go against pressing that? How's that? Got nothing to say! Speechless in my presence? Ah, this guy sure talks a lot. So, you're the one who arrested Mr. Keys, I take it. Mr. DeBest, do you have the right to do such a thing? Well, obviously it was the police who carried out the arrest. But, since it was under my direction, shouldn't it also count as my arrest? As I expected. It'd be difficult to deal with both of them at the same time. However, her silence is troubling me. Just what is she thinking? Alright, so right off the bat, he isn't being decisive because he's saying we found traces. What the hell does he mean by that? That guy, over there. That's certainly vague. Well, don't they say the best hears one thing and understands ten? You're just being lazy. Explain it more clearly! Sebastian, if it's alright with you, would you please explain it to them in more detail? I'm sure that everyone wants to hear what you have to say. Hmm. Alright, if you insist, Justine. We discovered that. Perhaps you didn't, didn't know, but the victim carried a chessboard with him. From it, we found that suspect, that suspect guy's... I mean, Simon Key's fingerprints. Well done, Sebastian. I bless you on behalf of the Goddess of Law. Please amend your testimony. Are you alright with that, Prosecutor Edgeworth? Yes. The victim carried a chessboard. From it, we found Simon Key's fingerprints. Let's press that real quick. Surely it wasn't you who discovered the fingerprints. Hey, I'm just a prosecutor, aren't I? I leave that stuff to the forensic, the forensics team. These fingerprints could be a problem, but wasn't the chessboard originally... Maybe I should take another look at the evidence. Okay, so I made chessboards originally what? Okay, so let me go ahead and take a look at the chessboard here. Portable folding chessboard belonged to Knightley. Simon brought it to him as request. Oh, there you go! Of course that's why you're gonna find a fingerprints. He brought it to him. That was easy enough. Fingerprints found in chessboard. Is that the ace up your sleeve? Ace in my sleeve? Oh! Ace up my sleeve! Well, yes, the methods I use are always the best. This ace is my trump card. Well then, allow me to show you that it is not, in fact, a trump card at all. Simon Keys was the one who sent this chessboard to the victim in the first place. So, it's only natural some of his prints will be left on it. Ugh! That took way too long. These fingerprints are hardly decisive evidence. Perhaps your arrest is a little too rash? Rash? To begin with, this incident occurred in the detention center and the prison. To suspect Simon just because he isn't a prisoner or a guard is a little unreasonable. Ah! What? What's with him all of a sudden? <laughs> I feel like I get what you're trying to say here. Rash. You mean we were too quick to arrest the guy, right? He was he was stuck on that? Sure, I was the one I was I was the first to lay eyes on him. And I was the first to notice the evidence. That was even faster. But I am not rash. Sure, Simon Keys isn't a guard or a prisoner, but Sebastian. Judge Courtney. What are you doing, Justine? Uh, but don't butt in like that! Pardon me, Sebastian. Yes, your words on the suspect are very interesting. However, shouldn't you get to the best part first? The best part? Why don't you tell them about your wonderful reasoning regarding the murder weapon? 
Good one, Justine. Nice suggestion here. Mr. Edgeworth, listen to my first-rate reasoning. Will this reasoning explain why you're a Mr. Keys? I'm sure it will meet your expectations. Judge Courtney just changed the flow of the conversation. Just what is she planning? Kind of what is she hiding? That's what I'm trying to think here. All right, but <clears throat> excuse me. The murder weapon's location. It's obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. However, the prison maintains strict control over potentially lethal items. <laughs> so that's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Yes, it was hidden inside that chessboard. And since only the victim and the suspect's fingerprints were found on the chessboard, isn't it obvious who brought and used the murder weapon? At least it's clearer than his last testimony. It's the best reasoning you can get from prosecutor to the best. How do you like that? Now he's mixing the best with his own name. But could someone really hide a weapon inside a gift sent to a prisoner? <laughs> You'll find a good pl place if you examine it inside of the chessboard. Inside a chessboard? Is there some place to hide a weapon there? Oh, well, I guess we'll take a look and... Well, right off the bat, there's a latch here, so I guess we can open it up. As I thought, there are only chess pieces inside. <laughs> wow, what an annoying laugh. Inside a chessboard, huh? Perhaps I should examine it a bit further. Uh, let's maybe remove the chess pieces? These are chess pieces, right? I saw something similar in your office, Mr. Edgeworth. Huh? But the pieces here are black and white. Those are the correct colors. My pieces were custom made. Custom made? That sounds like treasure to me. Her eyes are sparkling. Does she intend to steal it? I hope not. Okay, so maybe it's the empty compartment. Maybe there's like a secret latch in there somewhere. Ah, what do you know? This is... The top panel's removable. It's quite deep. Yes, there's more than enough room to hide a small knife. Understand now? This is how the culprit sm smuggled in the... Hmm. Hmm? What's with the hmm? I wasn't even finished! Mr. DeBest, there's something you have forgotten here. There's a gate at the entrance of the detention center. Eh? Well, there is, but... He means the security gates with the metal detector, Seb Sebastian. We had to pass through the same check when we entered the prison, remember? Well, ah! Uh, ah, yeah, that's it. I remember now. I just noticed how his hair in the top there becomes a question mark or an explanation mark, depending on... Well, you know, that's what it looks like to me anyway. It looks like he completely forgot. It would be impossible to smuggle a sharp metal object into the detention center. Therefore, your reasoning never held, even from the very beginning. That gate is only used on people. In other words, packages sent to the detention center undergo a simpler check. So they don't use a metal detector for that? Ah, see, that's kind of stupid. This never should have happened. It seems the guards were too careless. Well, yeah, but how can the packages not go through some type of metal detection or even an x-ray machine, anything? That seems very odd. Right, Justine. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Now then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, your cross-examination, if you please. Cross-examination. It's as if we were in a courtroom. Very well. His reasoning. Let's see how long you'll hold up under pressure. This is gonna be nice. So, okay, we're doing a rebuttal here. So, it's obvious, however, prison may have answer. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, keep going here. So that's what I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Yes, it was hidden inside the chessboard. Do we have evidence, like straight up evidence, that it came from a chessboard? I mean, yes, there's a secret panel there, but do we know for sure that was in there? No weapon was found at the crime scene, not even inside the chessboard. So where did the murder weapon disappear to? I'd like to hear your answer to that. Well, that's... Well, after a crime, the culprit must have hidden it somewhere in the prison. Is there a problem with the statement that the best just made? Um... He said it must be hidden somewhere in the prison, right? Let's, uh, take a look at my... evidence real quick. Uh... Event, 
dirt, small bruises on the head, no, 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 rope. More sensor. I gotta, I gotta remember this evidence a little bit more clearly, but it's been a little while since I played, so I gotta take a look, no, look at it. No. Mr. Best. Wait, they searched the entire prison, but did not find the murder weapon. Yep, that seems like the problem right there. The murder weapon is hidden inside the prison. I don't think so. It's clear from this piece of evidence. What shows that the murder weapon can't be inside a prison? Well, that's the pr prison investigation report. You guys said you looked everywhere, you couldn't find it, so... Take that. Have you completely forgotten your own actions? You, along with War Warden Roland, conducted a search of the prison. But you did not find the murder weapon, right? Oh god! Oof. Oh, that's uh... We must overlook something! This guy just completely contradicted himself and totally smacked himself in the face of his, like, pointer baton thing, Mujigi. You carried out such a sloppy investigation? I'm amazed that you call yourself the best. Are you mocking me? Now where the hell is she banging against? Sebastian. Ugh! Please calm yourself. Don't get caught up in the opponent's play the pace. I'm fine, Justine. Do you really think the best prosecutor will be shaken up by someone miles behind him? Oh boy. I wish he stopped messing around with other people's names. Oh, in that case, Kay Faraday is far, far ahead. Uh, no. Kay, don't, don't get caught up in this too. Yes, if my best investigation didn't find anything, then there must not have been a single weapon in the prison. In that case, there's only one possibility. The criminal must have taken a murder weapon with him when he left the prison. So it's only natural we didn't find it in there. Yeah. Objection. There was no way the culprit could have brought the weapon out of the prison. And this piece of evidence shows why. Well, yeah. Wait a minute, didn't, yeah, you just brought it, you just, uh, gave, gave us that information, the security gate. It says it's only used on people. And if you brought it with them out of the prison, then wouldn't the thing beep? So, that makes sense. Have you completely forgotten your own testimony just now? You! That's twice you've insulted me! Oh, it seems you remember what I said earlier. But you'll do well to remember further than that. Uh, oh, what is that? This guy, he really doesn't remember anything. It seems that way, it seems that way. The attention center and the prison are equipped with security gates. Anyone leaving must pass through these gates. Gates, equipped with metal detectors. Ah, well that's what you... Looks like he remembers now. Yes, there's no way someone could have brought the murder weapon through those gates. And so the criminal could not have taken it out of the prison either. Ah! Jeez, that has to hurt. So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you know where this murder weapon went to? Perhaps the weapon is still inside the prison? But we couldn't find anywhere in the, find it anywhere in the prison. The reason you didn't find it is because you believed it was a sharp metal object. We saw the very moment when Mr. N when Mr. Knightley was attacked. After all, well, if you can say that much, then perhaps you can enlighten us. What would you say is a murder weapon in this case? From this piece of evidence, the murder weapon of this case become becomes obvious. So. If you remember, looking at the, what was it, security footage, we saw that we recorded a moment when the victim was attacked by a black silhouette in the detention center. And we can assume that maybe that black silhouette was a dog, but from this piece of evidence, we kind of figure out a way how he possibly could have been killed, so take that. Here is the footage from a security camera. It shows one of the cells in the detention center. See it with your own eyes. I'm going to take a closer look here. Hmm. You know what? I already figured out a contradiction. Damn! Every time I see that, must... yeah, it looks painful. What? This is... It can't be! This tape clearly shows the moment the victim was attacked by a black dog. I believe this is sufficient proof, wouldn't you say? Indeed, this is vital evidence. 
poor Snightly was killed in the detention center by that dog. After that, the body was moved to the prison workroom. Our witness claims to have been seen a dog in the workroom when the body was found. Of course, a dog couldn't have planned this crime on its own. However, there's someone who could have. Who could have? That's enough. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Judge Courtney? It's true, this camera footage is vital evidence. However, there is something else you must prove. Actually, you've already noticed it, haven't you? It's just as she says, there's still a huge flaw in my reasoning. If that black dog is a prisoner's pet, how is it able to move between the detention center and prison? Ah! What will we do, Mr. Edgeworth? I still don't know how the dog managed to move from one place to, to the other. I knew it. What? You're one to talk. You don't even you don't know either. If you do not solve this mystery, I'm afraid I cannot accept your logic. If this is a real courtroom, I will call for a recess now. But what? Wait! I'm not finished yet. Oh, she's not having any of it. Court has been adjourned. Leave at once. This isn't a courtroom. Well then, as I said, court is adjourned. I can't prove my argument, but isn't it isn't the same case with, with Mr. Keys? Whatever do you mean? Just as I don't know how the dog entered the detention center, you also don't know how Simon Keys entered the detention center in the prison. Although he came to visit the victim, he was an outside he was an outsider to the prison. Don't you think it would be difficult for him to commit a crime inside the prison? Judge Courtney. Now the burden proof lies with you. Show us evidence that Simon Keys entered the prison. <laughs> you want me to present evidence? I'm happy to oblige. What? Does she really have evidence? Oh man, it's gonna bite us in the ass right now. It's about time that I told you. Now that I know the basis of your reasoning, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What is she thinking? It seems you don't know even know Simon Keys' real occupation. He is, a, he is a circus performer. A circus performer? Yes. Have you ever heard of the Barry Big Circus? Yes, I have. Circus. Ah! Yep. Yesterday was a day that I wouldn't... Yep. And apparently all that all those at the animal show came from the Barry Big Circus, right? Oh, jeez. No, I despise meetings. I was at the animal show. Yep, it seems you've realized. On the day of the incident, an animal show is being performed at the prison, and the show is put on by the Barry Big Circus. So then, do you mean Simon is... Simon Keys entered the prison as a staff member of the animal show. That, we know for a fact. No! This woman! She's been concealing this fact the whole time! She only planned to reveal after hearing my reasoning. Come to think of it, what are you doing, Justine? Don't be put in like that. Oh uh, yeah. Ah, uh, damn. So I guess we kind of fell into her ploy there, but Mr. DeBest was gonna say it then, but she stopped him. <laughs> How do you like that, worthless prosecutor? You didn't do anything. Well then, now it really is time for a recess. I'll end with some advice. I had already doubted your abilities as a prosecutor, which is why I believe you and your authority. You best not forget that. What are you trying to say here? The PIC can still take away your badge. If you value your badge, I advise you not to show your face before me again. Is that a threat? The goddess of law is merciful, but that doesn't mean you can get away with everything. And one more thing, I must I must digress. I suggested you stop with this the, with this defense attorney act. That's none of your concern. I don't intend to abandon a case I am involved in so easily. For the defense attorneys, a relationship of mutual trust with their clients is vital. It is very different from the way of the prosecutor. In any case, you didn't even know about your client's occupation. Ugh. Well then. I must be going. May the blessings of the goddess of law be upon you. 
God, I hate them both. Has Ray been like that? I totally forgot he was right there. Did Simon lie to us? It seems he lied to Uncle Ray, too. This complicates matters. Why do you do that? Hmm. Hey, hey, Miles, don't tell me you've gotten cold feet already. Courtney Pie is quite a handful, but giving up so is so uncool. A defense attorney's creed is never give up. Remember, you're my assistant. Of course, I don't plan on giving up either. It's just... My theory that he couldn't enter that prison now no longer holds up. It looks like we'll have to investigate once more. And I guess we'll be doing that investigation in the next episode, guys. So, <coughs> I've been burping a lot, as usual. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.